Hello, my name is Anya, and today we are going to make a floating menu bar. Now I have a header, and I want to be able to click this button to have a floating group menu, which is just going to cover some of this hero group. Let's make this. So I'm going to grab a floating group and add it to the corner. And I'm going to give it an align to parent thing. I want it to be a fixed 350. And we can remove fit height to content and just have it stretch all the way to the bottom of the page. Okay, let's add in a group. And this is going to be aligned to the top. It can be the top middle or the top side. It doesn't particularly matter. And this is going to be a column. I just want it to stretch the entirety of this floating group. And we can say fit height to content. This will be group nav. Here, I'm going to have an icon, this X, and I just want it to be left aligned on the side like that. This is going to be an even 48 by 48. I'm going to add some text, just home as if we were navigating. And then I want to say fit height to content. I am also going to add one more icon here. This is going to be this angle right button icon. And I'm gonna make it smaller. Let's do 30 by 30. Now I want these two to be on the same line, so I'm going to group elements in a row and then make the row space between with 16 pixels of padding on each side. I'm seeing that this is looking massive. Let's just make it 30 by 30 and then I want some gap spacing here. We can do 16 pixels of row gap. None of this matters that much. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what it would look like. I also want to add another group. Add another group at the bottom. I want this to be a row. Just center aligned is fine. No fixed width, no min width. And then we can just say fit height to content. I'm going to add a button into this group and it can just say log out. It doesn't really, now we can remove the min height and it'll just contract. And I just want to add some bottom padding. You can obviously customize this header however you want. I'm seeing that it's a little bit wide, so I'm just going to make the width 300 instead of 350. And you can customize it to your liking, but I'm just trying to show you the basic idea. Okay, now we can add some functionality. Let's start with this X. When it is clicked, we want to go to Element Actions and Hide this floating group B, which honestly I should name better, floating group sidebar. Okay, on our header, we want to be able to click this to show our floating group sidebar. And then lastly, we want our floating group to not be visible on page load. Now we can preview this and we don't see that group. We can click this, it's shown, and then we can hide it again.